my name is Leos Baruk. I come from Brazil, from a city called uh, Olinda. I've been living in Ori since 2007, and the reason why I'm here is because of music, and that's what I do for a living, and it's my passion. We started this band in the end of 2011 with me and uh, our bass player Tiago and Diego Brazil, who is also who is living in Brazil right now. He has moved back. We had uh, also on the trombone and doing the horn arrangement, uh, Carl. He started with the band as well. And uh, we had Alden on keyboards. And after that, a lot of people came in and out. And this is the formation we have right now. We're missing uh, Mikael, the saxophone player. And we're missing other, the other trombone player, it's Alden. We started uh, basically in the process of creating songs and that was when I had the studio at the Chocolate Fabric. It was an old, uh, old place where there was a lot of studios there and um, yeah we just started to make songs and we played cover songs as well in the beginning. We still do it but we're trying to do as less as possible because we are creative people so we can make our own stuff with quality. <laughs> Sjakros, det er å, det er å skrive hver arrangør. Da sitter jeg ned og, og skriver musik for Blåserekka. Det er mye sammen med Lius, da. Fordi Lius er, han er på en måte en blåserekke i sig selv. Jobbe med, jobbe med disse brasilianerne, det er, det er veldig gøy. De er... Ja, de er så anledes uh, på mange måter fra oss uh, trauste nordmenn som uh, de, de, de svever på, på en helt annen måte. De er blie, de, de, er, uh, de er hyggelige, um, um, og de er veldig åpne, åpne for ideer, uh, særlig i livet. Så, og, ja, Tiago og uh, Guy er utrolig åpne for uh, hvordan man kan gjøre ting, da. De har liksom ingen fasit uh, på, på, på hva musikk er og hvordan det skal høres ut. Det kan liksom... Så det, det tror jeg på en måte har uh, gjort at uh, vi har, vi har samarbeidet utrolig bra om, om, om å lage musikken. Uh, det er jo livet sitt uh, alt sammen. Så jeg på en måte hjelper til, men... men I think around 2005-2006, we met in this place in Brazil called Noche Pipa. And then it was like funny thing because I had, I had this gig that suddenly the guy that was playing drums, he couldn't do it. And like just one hour or something. And then it was like, you know, this guy that was living there that was playing drums with this rag band. And then we just went there. And said like, hey, do you have this gig if you want to do it? And he said yes. He said yes, and you know, she had this night. It was really nice, you know, she played some reggae. And then 2007, I was here, and then I just heard like this guy just said, you know, Tiago, Tiago. It's like, what's wrong? What's going on? And then it was Lewis, just here in Oslo. It's like, what's wrong, man? What are you doing here? <laughs> and suddenly we just, you know, she starts work and everything. And it sounds a bit like weird that we, you know, doing here some music, Brazilian music, some rock, but not reggae. So I think that was, you know, a good call from him, you know. Like I say, she met up the guys and make this reggae band that it's been on for like four years. So I think it's been good so far. The first time I'd played in a band where there was horn section, like uh, trombone, trumpet, saxophone. And I thought, wow, this is great. I'm going to play with these guys. Everyone was really professional. I think we just hear the songs, just play it, bam, bam, bam. The groove worked. Great chemistry with both Lewis and Tiago and the rhythm and Lars. And, uh, and the horn section was taking shape at that time. 
And from then on, it was just perfect. You know, every meeting we got together, every rehearsal, the band grew larger and larger. We got more guys in the horn section. They started coming together. And it just, uh, it's always worked, you know. Uh, we work very well when we get together. It's just hear the songs, let's play it, and we start to polish slowly, but the foundation is, it, it worked from the beginning without a problem, definitely. Cool. Samarbeid med Chakra så er veldig morsomt. Det er veldig gøy å se på, og det er gøy å være en del av. Uh, det er en forskjellig verdener som møter hverandre med brasiliansk tid og norsk tid og sånne ting, som har vært veldig lærerikt, rett og slett. Norge er veldig rigid med rutetabeller, åpningstider og så videre, men det ordner seg alltid. Det er det som er så gøy, og det har jeg lært mye av. Ikke slutte å stresse og sånne ting. Så det er pust og rolig. Og ha det bra, rett og slett. Jeg var partying mye denne sommer. Jeg var på denne bar på uh, Ungstorget som heter Café Brasil. Og hver fredag og søndag, Thiago and Liz would play there. And I would go there, and uh, this one day I told Liz, I think me and Liz had played together before in one project, but we didn't really get to know each other. And he asked me if I wanted to be like a backing singer in his band. <laughs> and I naturally said yes, because, uh, because you don't say yes to <laughs> Liz. No, you don't say no to Liz. I've never done rig before. I've, I've been singing like pop music, mostly pop music, jazz, and it kind of scared me to be in a big reggae band with a lot of guys. But I said yes, and our first gig, or my first gig with Chakras, was at Blo, which is a very big, cool stage to play, and uh, it was amazing. And it was my first meeting with that big stage and also reggae music, basically. So it just continued, and after a while, I started doing more solo songs and uh, and singing a lot, and it became like a, a project close to my heart after a while. We did a few concerts in 2012 in many different places in Oslo. Pretty much all the concert houses in, in Oslo we've been playing. We recorded our first album last year. It's an album called uh, Understand. It's ready and available now online. You can find us. We also, in this meantime, we had a great opportunity to be part of a big festival, a reggae festival in Vigo, in Spain, called Minho Reggae, which we went there and we did a, probably the best concert uh, for our career so far, because it was a big audience and uh, the feedback we got from the audience was the best we could expect. And um, this year, 2014, we haven't been doing much because people are busy with different projects, so we kind of stopped a little bit. But the plan is for next year, we're gonna come back heavy and try to produce another album. And uh, we are working on get the band out of uh, Norway, because now we've been playing pretty much only here in Norway. So our goal is to take over other countries as well, to play for other audiences. Mm -hmm. When we're on stage, it's, uh, it's the same story of when we're not on stage. It's pretty much everything on me. Everybody waits for me to start the songs, to give cues, and I'm, yeah, I'm like the one who makes things start and stop, and all this coordination of actions on stage. And uh, it's 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 good because it's better to have one than many heads working at the same time 
to take decisions because then it makes a bit more confused, I, I guess. And uh, they are comfortable with that. They trust me, and uh, I know whatever I do, even if it's something and we not we haven't planned it, they will follow me because we we're a good team playing. And uh, yeah, we have a quite big audience so far. We've been playing for like two, three years now, and we have some people who have been following us since the the beginning. And yeah. The, what they like the most to hear, is, of course, is our own music. We we still play some cover songs from bands that we like, but uh, always in the end of the concerts, what they, they they always expect more. They always ask us for more for one or two more songs, you know. And uh, that means we we're doing the things right and uh, we're making them happy, and that's what we play for. <laughs> We are from many different nationalities in the band, but uh, um, when it comes to the music, that doesn't do anything with our communication. We we hang around, we're like a family, and um, we meet, we make music, we do gigs, we work, we have fun, so we are a big family. And I'm very happy for that, that we're not just uh, like a working crew, we actually we live as a family, pretty much. Yeah.